Hey everybody, Canagraphs here, and this will be a set report for The Flash, Season 7. I believe this is probably Episode 6, based on some photos I took from Episode 7 after the winter break. The timing of this would make me think this is probably Episode 6. Could be Episode 5 or Episode 7, though, depending how their schedule played out. Um, here is some video of Grant doing a scene inside a hotel in downtown Vancouver. I don't know really what the scene entailed. Um, I do know Carlos Valdez was on set that day and one of the Danielles was. I don't know if it was Panna Baker or Nicolette. I just heard her name being used. Um, but this scene, mostly he just... Um, you see him just kind of walking by and he's wearing his um, his uh, medical mask in the scene so that means they're only using him for audio they're not even using him for video in this scene he's uh, off camera in the scene whenever you see them dressed up and they're not like they're wearing something like maybe their winter jacket or in this case a, a mask that just means that they need them for the audio and they don't need to be on screen for the scene so they probably already shot the part where he would have been on screen and they're just needing him there for the uh, audio part of it um, they filmed uh, in the morning there and into the early afternoon and then they moved across town for a different set uh, that you'll see in a moment here uh, after this video <coughs> As you can see, there was not a lot of space to see in there. So uh, what I got was actually much more than I actually really thought I was going to get. When I got there and saw the part of the building they were using, I'm like, oh, no, this is not going to be good for me. But, uh, you know, I, I scraped together a little bit, which, uh, you know, it was more than I thought I might get. Uh, here's the evening shoot they did. Uh, this is the stunt uh, person for Grant. His name is Cody, and he's doing a uh, scene where he's about to get uh, tossed across the pavement. And, uh, yeah, if you ever thought of wanting to be a stunt person, this is the type of stuff you get to do on a regular basis. Uh, they make sure everything's in check before they do even one take. They don't want any mistakes on this type of stuff. So yeah, he, uh, he got tossed across the pavement and that was uh, literally the only part of the scene he really needed to do. Um, this is a further down the street. They had two sets going at the same time. This is another set they had. And yes, yes, that's a Roman, uh, Roman army uh, <laughs> gladiator guy um, in Central City, apparently. Um, he did a scene where um, he's walking, uh, or he just is there. I don't know... Um, what happened and you see he, he goes running and he goes running at this group of people and he just starts slaughtering them for uh, whatever reason I don't know why they're just random people on the street and then he celebrates like he just won a championship and just I hate <laughs> yeah I'm still confused what's going on and I've looked at it several times so if you're confused I'm right there with you um, Here's Grant doing a scene. He's going to see a, a random person in a mask in a moment. Um, you, can see, you can see him there in the middle of the, the screen, but he turns around and there's no one there right now, but they'll pause. When they film, they have a pause and you see how the guy just casually walks in and gets into place. And this guy is now there and Grant sees him. And um, the director over the mic was telling Grant, like, uh, you can't stop this. This is a nightmare. Uh, you, you, he just kept reiterating, like you, you can't do anything about this. So here are some uh, still photos from that day. Um, this was Grant at that first location in the morning, coming back from getting a coffee, and there he is after uh, shooting. He was waiting to leave, and you see the little bucket in his hand. Everybody now is required to carry their own things. There's no just leaving it hanging out somewhere and having someone else bring it for you uh, which would have been the case back in the day but now everyone's required to bring their own stuff they have their own separate labeled buckets and uh, yeah so this is uh, in that scene I was telling you about um, when he did have his uniform on you can see he's got a thing on his forehead 
similar to what he was wearing when um, they were trying to prevent him from being pa uh, controlled by Gorilla Grodd back uh, a couple seasons ago. Um, so I kind of wonder what that's going to be about. Um, there he is again. So this is Central Construction. And if you notice beside it, there's a Scott Construction. Scott Construction is actually a local construction company here. Central is made up for the show. They covered up the Scott signs. Um, this is the uh, Coffee Girl from Jitters. I just thought it was a random girl on the street until people were like, oh, hey, that's the Coffee Girl. And when I looked into it, I'm like, oh, I guess they're, they're right. So here's the uh, Roman guy again, you know. Um, when I first saw him, I didn't know who it was because he wasn't wearing the big uh, puffy hat thing and I could just see the uh, glittering part of his uh, body and he was wearing like a, a jacket over it so I didn't really know who he was supposed to be yet till I saw him in action on, uh, on the screen or not on the screen, uh, in front of me shooting the scene and um, yeah, it... Uh, I honestly wish I could tell you what's going on because it makes no sense. There's the coffee girl standing behind the Roman guy. When she's in the scene, she's just casually walking by on her phone and she stops dead in her tracks, drops her coffee, screams and runs the other way. So I guess she just happened to notice him there in front of her. And there's, uh, there's Cody getting ready to do that stunt that you saw earlier. And that's Grant getting ready to do his scene. And... Um, you notice the red lights there in the background? They put those there to give it like a whatever look that they're looking for. Um, those are not naturally there. Um, there he is on the ground after he falls to the ground from that nightmare that uh, I told you he was supposed to be having. He, he like, it, it crumples down to the ground and ends up on the ground. So I don't know why. <laughs> this, this is one of the more bizarre sets I've ever been to for The Flash. And a lot of it still doesn't make sense to me even now. There's the mask guy uh, more up close. Um, this was this was near the end of my night there, so uh, I, I just got a couple of shots of him because they're just doing close-ups of just him. Grant had already uh, done his part and uh, moved on, so they were just doing close-ups of the mask guy at this point. And so I took a couple of shots of him. I can't tell you what he's doing either. This is Honestly, like I've said now more than once, one of the weirdest sets I've been to f for any show, let alone The Flash. And that's it for this report. I do have another uh, set report for The Flash uh, on the books. Uh, might be a couple weeks, but there'll be more for episode uh, 707. So look for that when it comes out. And uh, thank you for checking in. And uh, you can check out my blog for more photos from that set. Thanks again, and bye.